Welcome to everyone watching this video today. This video is the daily devotion and today's scripture passage is taken from the book of Isaiah. That's Isaiah chapter 22 verse 22. That's Isaiah chapter 22 verse 22 and I'll read it now. I will place on his shoulders the key to the house of David. What he opens no one can shut and what he shuts, no one can open. I'll read that again. I will place on his shoulder the key to the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut, and what he shuts, no one can open. Now, scripture links to this passage can be found in Revelation chapter 3, verse 7, which states, To the angel of the church in Philadelphia writes, these are the words of him who is holy and true, who holds the key of David. What he opens, no one can shut, and what he shuts, no one can open. As the Davidic uh, Messiah, Jesus holds the power to let people in the eternal kingdom or to shut them out. It is that choice that each individual is given to accept and be let into the kingdom of God and eternal life or to uh, deny and refuse and to be shut out. He shares God's qualities of being holy and faithful. And as believers, we make, as I've stated, that choice to accept God at his word um, and those that do not yet believe must be made aware of the choices that lie before each and every one of us. That choice that we need to make for or against. So let me ask you the question today. What is your choice? And let me ask you the question. Where do you stand for or against? And let me ask you the question, will you go and tell others, friends, family, neighbours, work colleagues, where do you wish for them to stand in that eternal decision? I'll leave it with you. And remember, share the word, comment, like and share this video widely. And of course, prayerfully encourage people to click that subscribe button. And if you haven't already done so, click it yourself. That allows us to reach more men, women and children with an online presence, feeding them daily with these biblical truths. And it's so important that we don't allow one person to perish, but for all to make that decision to follow Jesus Christ and accept him as Lord and Saviour of their lives. So be part of that by merely sharing and clicking that ripple effect of these truths into the lives of many individuals. God bless you all in the day ahead. Amen.